This field of transplantation has evolved dramatically over the past 50 years. We now know things that were not even considered 20 years ago. The success of organ transplantation in this day and age is totally reliant on our ability to be able to tell this donor is the most compatible for the intended recipient. And for that, there is only one resource, the HLA lab at uh, University of Miami. We tend to be a one-stop shop, and that I think is very useful for a lot of transplant programs. If you can do that and just send something there, you know you're gonna get a good answer. These are experienced people, they do it quickly. What more could you want? We supported in 2021 over 800 solid organ transplantations, which is a, a huge amount of transplants. This laboratory could also provide a lot of services to many other laboratories and many other programs around the country. We also have international customers in Central and South America. We have gone from only doing sibling donor transplants all the way to doing uh, unrelated donor transplants, then to doing half match uh, transplant and most recently mismatch unrelated donors. That was uh, something that was unthinkable years ago. These high risk procedures are only possible if we have the support in the histocompatibility lab of being able to perform these transplants with safety. When I meet with other centers from around the country, they ask us, how do you do it? And I always mention how our lab collaborates so much with our, our team, and we have such a unique bond. Whether it's a rash result for a biopsy in the middle of the night, or a antibody assessment for a patient that needs to be transplanted, we make sure and we move every single part of the lab to make that possible. We tie in much of our work with research. Because of that, we're providing a much better service to our patients. We have been able to explore novel treatments that might become the new standard of care, and that's largely due to the support that we have received from the lab. The quality turnaround time and willingness to push the edge has resulted in many, many clinical trials that have come through this laboratory. I've worked in labs that only do one of the things that we do, or two, but to do all of them, I haven't heard of another lab like this. To be able to manage the volume as well as the timeliness of all this has really been a, a, quite a challenge and Dr. Ruiz and his entire program have uh, managed that, I think, magnificently. This particular lab uses now much more sophisticated techniques to give even better answers. In addition to our accreditations, we also have advanced technology, we have infrastructure, we have informatics. You see state-of-the-art machinery, but behind it, is an incredible laboratory that provides you service that is just second to none. We know our patients. We know from the time they're listed to the time to get the transplant. And we look at biopsies after the transplants and so forth. So we follow these patients over potentially 20, 30 years. What you want is to make sure that these patients have a long life with quality. That's pretty much what you're looking for. That involvement at a granular level with your patient population is really what separates us from the standard laboratory of a hospital. The level of collaboration that we have received from this entire team has been literally unsurpassed. Without question, it is one of the best labs in the country. The quality of the service is top notch. You need to have people that they're really, really on top of their game. I wouldn't be able to lose transplants if I didn't trust a lab.